Hey y'all, what's, <laughs> what's poppin'? Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today. Today, y'all, um, I'm gonna be doing like a just simple, you know, I'm gonna do my makeup, but like I'm gonna kinda like be chit-chatting with y'all about like what's going on right now, like. I typical going out makeup look, you know. I got my bubbly Prosecco. But yeah, I'll just jump right into the video. I kinda I don't know, I'm not really gonna I mean I can kinda say what I'm using. I'm going to use the Beekman cleansing wipe. So one thing I want to talk about first that's like really on my chest about this whole situation is the fact that graduation <laughs> is freaking up in the air like it's like dang I done came four years down the line going busting my butt through school and now it's like boom I don't even know when I'll be able to graduate because of this little virus going on like Miss Rona need to chill out like Mm -hmm. This virus started out in Asia, and one thing I just want to point out is this. Just because this virus started out in Asia, that don't mean attack Asian people. Like, clearly you think people have common sense, but they don't, which I clearly see because common sense is not that common. But, like, that don't mean, like, attack Asian people. Like, stupid. What is being an Asian person gonna do about the virus? Like the virus is still running abundant. Like it's not gonna solve any problems being freaking xenophobic. Like it's, it's just not, sis. Yeah, it started in Asia, but in order for it to get out of Asia, people had to travel back and forth, okay? It didn't just walk, you know. It latched on to somebody who was moving about and I'ma just let y'all, that's, I mean, you can see who's the people who's moving about, so we ain't speaking on that. Another thing of like how it started is not as clear as people you would think sh would understand it to be. But like this virus did not come from people eating bats, guys. Like it just did not come from people eating freaking bats. This Stupid. This virus came from bats with rabies flying into a market warehouse and biting the live animals. So those live animals are now rabid in a sense and they're being killed and just the ha the handling of the animals is what like caused essentially the virus to spread because that meat was then served to people in the restaurant. And if that doesn't bring you any reminders, um to a certain movie, <laughs> Intense Contagion, I don't know what does. Like, our Contagion is the most scientifically accurate movie to date that would explain how a pandemic or virus would spread across the world. So yeah, those are just two things that have been bothering me. Another thing that's been bothering me is, um. People saying like the news don't really know how to report on like what's going on and X, Y, and Z and whatnot. And the news is overhyping it and blah, blah, blah. And I honestly don't think the news is overhyping it. I think the news is actually doing a pretty good job of keeping people updated on what, what is really going on. Like they're doing a fantastic job. It's only one news outlet that tried to downplay the situation. And we ain't gonna speak on who that is, but y'all know. Y'all know who it is. <laughs> That's the only news outlet that I've seen kind of just like downplay the situation. And it's and it is serious, y'all. Like I'm not gonna lie. A couple weeks ago I was over there. I remember at work saying, Oh yeah, it's not this serious, like blah blah blah. Mind you, I'm playing I was planning to go to New York for spring break this week. Like I was supposed to be there right now. But like I just kept saying, Oh, it's not that serious. Like people over exaggerating, it's not that serious. But other people at my job was like, other people was like, no, it is that serious. And I just didn't see it. But now, I see it. Like, it is serious. And it's just like this. This is a new virus 
okay? This has never been seen before. Y'all keep comparing statistics. Y'all forget there's no statistics for this virus yet. Like, the statistics we have are ongoingly changing as we speak. Like, you can't just sit here and compare it to another virus that's been around for years and this virus has been around for less than a year. You know what I'm saying? Like, that don't make sense. Stupid. You know, and you can't sit there and do that because you don't know nothing. You don't know how, first of all, you kind of have an idea of how long it stays in your body. But you're not sure because some people are coming back and testing back positive. Now, there is a lot going on around that. They're saying that people aren't getting fully treated before they leave the hospitals. But still, like, you don't know. Like, the CDC is saying be precautionary. Like, you don't know. People are not taking it serious. Like, you still see people going out to eat, eating at restaurants, out at coffee shops, like, just out and about, like, on the beach in Miami, jam-packed next to each other. Like, no. That's not, that's not practicing social distancing. People still concerned trying to go to the hair salon, go get their nails done. Like, no, everything has to stop. Y'all think Disney, y'all think y'all bigger than Disney? Come on now. Let's be real. Like, y'all think y'all bigger than Disney. You crazy. All these companies do not want to miss out on all, all this money for no reason. It's not being overhyped. Yeah, most people who get the illness, you will recover. It's not like you're going to die. But that doesn't mean, oh, go out and still get it. Like, why would why would you still go out and get sick? Like, that's like saying, oh, yeah, I know it's uh, I'm going to go outside and get sick, but at least I won't be that sick. Like, no, that don't make sense. We could just stay inside for a little bit, two weeks, and go outside and be healthy after they get under control. Like, why would you... Why would you want to put yourself in danger like that? Like, stupid. Like, I want to be seen by people who not even finna pay your bar tab. Like, no, I'm not doing that. Let me put on some chapstick while I'm doing this. But so far, I just applied my MAC and my Fenty foundations. I put the Fenty on first and then a little bit of the MAC on top. It just, I don't know, I just recently started doing that. And it's nothing about, like, the color. I've used each individually before, but... The color is just like, or the color or nothing. It just, I don't know. When I mix the two together, I feel like I'm being extra spicy. <laughs> it's like, why continue to spread something that can easily be stopped? Like, and then y'all be the main ones talking about, oh, martial law. I don't trust the government. The government shouldn't control me. You finna make the government control you right now by not just go ahead and adhering to CDC guidelines. CDC clearly saying, you shouldn't be in no crowds of more than 50 people at one point. Now it's 10. And y'all still all jam-packed on the beach together. Like, that don't even make sense. Y'all still going out. Y'all waiting for y'all president. Y'all walk. Y'all waiting for Donald J. Trump. <laughs> to say, oh, federally shut this shit down. When half of y'all don't even want him in office. Like, why would you put your life in his hands like that? Like, that don't even make sense. Stupid. And he's repeatedly lying to you on TV. Like he called a virus Chinese. When does a virus have a race? Like have an ethnicity? Come on now. He's he's generating that hateful tone. You know what I'm saying? We do not spread hate over here, okay? Don't be fucking rude. Are you kidding me? I swear to God. Don't be fucking rude. We don't. We just don't do that. I just put on my NARS concealer. Uh, I just feel like that's crazy that y'all are waiting. And the CDC is steady saying we don't have enough numbers to say X, Y, and Z. We don't have enough tests. CDC literally saying they don't have enough tests. But he on TV talking about, oh, there's a whole bunch of tests. Like, everybody can get tested if they want to get tested. Like, you can't even, you don't even have enough to test me. And I, and I feel the symptoms. And I have the symptoms. You know, and it's because they don't have enough tests. They have to like really be very scarce about who they're going to test and who they're not. And it just seems to me like a lot of the people who are wealthier are being able to get tested easier and quicker than people who aren't. And that's sad because in a world, in a country that like, you know, hates universal health care, now would be a pretty good time to have it if people don't have no freaking health insurance 
how you think people gonna be able to go get tested to see if they even have it? Who gonna pay for it? Another thing, who is gonna pay for these paychecks that he don't promise? Where's the money coming from? Because the whole task force that's assigned to even cover crisis like this in the CDC, their funding has been cut in 2018 for pandemic crisis prevention. It's been cut. So it's just like, where is this money gonna come from? I believe it when I see it, okay? I really believe it when I see it. I just can't process everybody in America getting checks like that when people now can't even get checks and they struggling as it is. Like they wanna cut welfare, social security, all that. And yet, everybody in America is getting checks. Like first y'all hated socialism. Now y'all trying to implement socialist policies, like. <laughs> there ain't f***ing funny, Tammy. Don't start laughing. Just who you want it first? Take it. I don't understand why people still not taking it serious because New York had to shut down, y'all. New York is an international city. Like that's a whole international city. New York shut down. It's a freaking problem. Like they told people in New York, it's just not okay to ride the subways. That's what they told the people there. Even though the CDC is saying like, oh, you don't need a mask, I would typically still wear one because you touch your, if you watch Contagion, the lady say you touch your face over 2,000 times a day. I think maybe she said in an hour, you know, like that's crazy. You touch your face a lot. So just to keep from you directly touching your mouth and your nose at least, like at least you have a barrier right there. That's how I see it. Even though the disease is not spread like through aerosol, it's spread through like droplets from touching, like somebody coughing in their hands, touching the doorknob, you go touch the doorknob. Somebody coughing in their hands and they touch you and you touch your face. Like something like that, that's how it's spreading. But still, if you look at how many places there are to like transfer that, like there's no need for anybody to be going in and out of any building other than your own house. You know, going to go to the store. China literally had to build a hospital in 10 days. 10 days, that's crazy. To, cause, or else their health system was going to collapse and it pretty much almost did. In Italy right now, their healthcare system is collapsing. Like. Places like Germany, Taiwan, but they doing they doing straight over there. They shut down for two weeks easy. They doing straight over there. <laughs> Taiwan only had one reported death. That was the last time I checked. People just need to understand like everything's not for one, everything's not a conspiracy theory. And you know, you can have your conspiracy theories, but have them based off the facts, like that are clearly presented, you know? Don't have conspiracy theories just pulled out your butt. I said all that to say, it's also very important that y'all go vote. Vote. The Georgia primaries have been moved to May 19th. The, the Georgia election prim presidential primaries are May 19th. Check to see when your primaries are and if they have already happened or if they haven't. But please, please vote. Like, vote in this Democratic primary. Y'all be running to the club, you need to run to the polls, okay? So stuff like this won't happen, so we won't be struggling when we come about this. And make sure you vote in November as well. Okay, make sure you register. Okay, we are done baking. I used to bake my Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. It is just phenomenal. Y'all be the same people talking about some of your votes don't even count, but yet, did you even vote? No. <laughs> so go do it. What the fuck? Like, sometimes our generation can just be so ignorant and just not even know it, think they know everything. Since you got your degree and you know every fucking thing. I don't know what be up with people. Like, why, do y'all not understand? Like, do y'all not understand? Let me know in the comments if y'all think this virus is as serious as everyone's making it. But I was just, I, another reason why I just wanted to have this little chit chat too is because Everybody doesn't like watching the news and sometimes you just need to have stuff broken down a little bit easier for you to process, you know? Like, you don't need to hear all that hoopla, hoopla. I shout out to Arthur Blank for paying for everybody's, you know? Um, make sure everybody get paid full time, even during this time of leave. You know, Kevin Love, shout out to you. 
helping trying to pay for folks uh, paychecks at your, where you work at you know you need just imagine if all like one per like the top one percent imagine if they all put like ten percent of all their income if that were tax timber like ten percent maybe maybe shit i'll say fine stuff like this would be covered like if they did like i don't know i feel like if you have money like that there's no way you're gonna be able to spend all that in your lifetime go ahead and give back for the greater good and have that shit fluctuating back in society you know what i mean you still gonna be rich and it's gonna be set up in a way so nobody can get rich off your check you know what i mean but certain stuff like this would be in place so people can at least stay afloat <laughs> like and that's another thing too he told him um cumo the governor in new york he needed to do more what more can he do i mean he's done everything he can do in his state government capacity you know federally you have to do something as well and it's not even about oh everybody we're gonna go on quarantine it's about say everybody's sick with the flu everybody has to go to the doctor imagine everybody going to the doctor the hospitals can already barely handle what they can now they don't even have enough supplies for the doctors and nurses to even keep themselves protected while treating people who are sick like really think about this it ain't even about no life like it, yeah for most people it's not life and death it's just about getting the help period it's not there it's not he done got on tv and told the hospital that they need to figure out on their own how they gonna get ventilators and respirators but you're the president that's y'all president i forgot i live in wakanda Cause people think it's a joke still people on the beach right now people at restaurants right now as we speak like people think it's a joke and they won't be happy till it's martial law hopefully it doesn't get like that hopefully people just voluntarily get in their house so they see how many people how the numbers are going to keep climbing as the cdc and stuff more tests come available like the numbers are going to keep going up like the numbers in Florida went from huh, freaking 19 to 200 in a day. That's more, and it was cases in Georgia before there was no cases in Florida. And that number in Florida has already skyrocketed more than the cases in Georgia. And you know what? Spring break. All y'all on the beach. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the game. And it's not, this is not really to cause like hysteria, you know, or panic. There's no point of panicking, like at all. It's just about being aware and being prepared it's just really crazy what i use right here is max blunt i've had this forever y'all need to really focus and get your mind right go pray and go meditate it's not bad like i don't even think it's like the end of time like i just think like just use this time to be still. Like, when do we have time? Like, one of my friends, shout out to Sammy Approved. She, in her video, she um talked about just when do we have time to be still and just relax and really self-meditate and unwind and self-reflect. And we don't because we always got to be moving, moving, moving. And right now, we don't got to move, so everybody tripping. Like, it's not that serious. Just relax and breathe and unwind and this too shall pass you. I don't know, people just not taking this as serious as they should and as they need to be. And I just feel like they're not gonna be satisfied until martial law is in place. Like, then they're gonna be mad. Then they're gonna be mad when martial law is in place. I'm gonna be like, well, if y'all stayed inside, we wouldn't be going through this. Like. For this lip look, I use NARS lip liner, precision lip liner in the color, what is this, Spunk. Yes. And then I use MAC lipstick in stone. And then this is just my little hot girl lip gloss that I throw on top. Because I love a glossy lip. 
and boom that's the look i don't know what's this y'all can see but yeah that's the look But yeah, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed my little informative video. I kind of want to post more of these just to get, like, people in my generation more aware of, like, what's going on in the world. Because sometimes I feel like us being so young, we think stuff doesn't really affect us, and it does. And our voice really does matter if we all stand together. Like, we can band against what we don't like, you know? But yeah, that's all. My camera's so rude, it cut off again. But um, no, that's all I have. Thank you guys for watching and tune in next time for another video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Cause sharing is caring. Can I pet that dog? Can I pet that dog?